Hi, I'm Tina. I'm 19 this year. I'm a Malaysia badminton uh, athlete. I've recently won the national championships at Pera. I took the women's singles title. So how I started playing badminton is I started at the age of five, to be honest. But um, after a few months training, I stopped for eight months because I didn't like the training and stuff. Uh, but my brother continued playing. So after when I was six, I continued again with my brother together. I went for training and stuff. And I got myself committed, more committed in the game. And I said, why not give a shot? So I went all out and I've been doing quite well for my junior days. I've won the MSSM titles, I won MSSS. But before going that, I played MSSD first. Uh, at the age of nine, I won the bronze in the singles title. So that made me represent my district to play the MSSS. And I've played a lot of MSSS in the past few years. Played for MSSS and MSSM. I represented playing for the MSSS. And for MSM, I presented Slango. I've played for singles and also doubles. So I've won the under 12 title, the under 15 title, and under 18, I came runners up. But uh, this journey was really, really happy for me because I managed to get all these titles while I was in the school days. And um, for the past few years, I've been playing junior international tournaments. I've represented my country for the Asian juniors and the world juniors. And in the last year, World Juniors, I, our team managed to get a silver medal, which is a really big uh, achievement for us. And recently, this year, I was uh, upgraded to the senior team in the talent group. And uh, to be surprised, I won the women's singles in the national championship. I've been having a dream to play in the Olympics since two years ago because for the next Olympics, I'll be 22 and I think that's the age that I'll be at my maximum and I'll be the fittest to play. So I'm now hoping to bring down my world ranking. It's quite far right now, so I need to play more international tournaments to bring down my ranking and get higher. So that's what I'm aiming for. And most probably, I'll be going to Thailand uh, end of this month. So that tournament, I need to do well to bring down the ranking so that I can go to more international tournaments in the future. So I have this aim to play in this 2020 Olympics. Um, for young children, do what you like. That's what I did when I was uh, at a young age. Because I had my parents to support me. They told me to do whatever I like to do. So that's how I got into badminton and I like the sport. So I went all out for it and I never gave up until now. So that's the main thing. Like you have to do what you like and make sure you go all out for it. Never give up in the sport you're doing or in any other sport. I've seen many bad comments or bad discouragement and all. They say, oh, you can't go for Why not just go for studies and all? But I told myself that I wanted to play this game and I really wanted to go all out and I had my parents to support me so that's more than enough for me. I don't need to hear others telling me what to do and stuff so this is my dream and I'll go for all out for it. Uh, parents have to give more support to their children. They have to have confidence in their children. Uh, they have to know that their children are ab able to do all this stuff. They have to have that confidence that they, their children have this talent and they can go all out for it. And also, there's not much of publicity in this kind of achievement. Like for me, they didn't know who was I and who am I when until recently I won the national championship. So this publicity is something that would bring others, other parents, other children more motivated to be in sports or not only in badminton but other sports uh, in particular. It's not about just joining in the sport or not to say only in sports, in studies as well. You have to go all out and have that big achievement to prove yourself to others. It's not just like, oh, I'm here, I'm in it and that's it. You have to have that aim, that goal to prove to others that, oh, I'm capable of doing something like this. For me to achieve what I achieved this year, um, I've started at the age of five. So I feel that this blueprint is also starting at a very young age and it's going to go through a 10-year plan. And in these 10 years, I 
have a feeling there's going to be a lot of struggles because I've gone through a lot of struggles as well. So I just hope that we can be a part of it and give our full moral support so that this 10-year plan can achieve their dreams.